Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, today we're going to take a look at some basic probability. Now probability isn't the uh, most important subject for higher level mathematics, but it is one of the most uh, applicable outside in the outside world. Um, probability has applications in uh, calculating insurance, uh, predicting the weather, gambling, sports, uh, all sorts of professional areas. So without further ado, let's take a look at uh, probability. Now what probability is, it's a uh, measure of uh, predictability, essentially. Uh, it's the way to uh, predict whether or not an event will occur um, based on um, how likely it is that there are a certain number of outcomes in an event and a certain number of outcomes in the uh, total sample space. So we need to take a look at uh, exactly what event in sample space means. So sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. And an outcome is the result of one single trial. So let's uh, just say we're rolling a uh, die, a six-sided die. Um, the sample space would be uh, just on one roll. The sample space would be one through six. And an outcome would be like rolling a one or rolling a two. Those are all single outcomes. Um, outcomes are unique. They're results of a single trial. And uh, an event is a set of possible outcomes. So if we take a look at the roll of a dice, uh, we can say that we roll a die twice. And um, you know the possible outcomes are, say you get a 1 on the first and a 2 on the second, or a 2 on the second and a 1 on the first. Those are both single unique outcomes, but uh, we could say that an event is the probability, we could look for the probability of getting a 1 and a 2, um, so it doesn't matter what the order is, so that's the difference between an event and an outcome. Uh, mutually exclusive events are events that can occur at the same time. So again, just sticking with the dice roll, uh, every, on a single dice roll, uh, the roll of a 1, the roll of a 2, the roll of a 3, etc., those are all mutually exclusive events because they can't all happen at the same time. Uh, independent events are events that uh, don't affect the outcome of the other. So say two dice rolls, those are ind independent events. Two dice rolls are independent events um, because, well, the first dice roll can be any number and the second dice roll can be any number um, and it doesn't matter uh, which is which, so they're independent. Um, we could take a look at, say, um, you know, two dice rolls, we get a one on the first dice roll, so we can't get a one on the next one. We make a rule that says that those are no longer independent events because it depends on what you get on the first dice roll. So let's just take a look at uh, some basic um, probability. Uh, we're going to look at coins first. The probability of a heads, well, there's one head and one tails, so that's one outcome out of two uh, total outcomes. On two coin flips, the probability of getting two heads, well, there's four different possible outcomes. Two heads, a heads and a tail, a tail and a heads, or two tails, so that's one out of four. Uh, we're going to take a look at cards. Uh, the probability of getting a red card, well, there's 13 hearts and 13 diamonds. This is a standard deck without jokers, so that, that's uh, 26 out of 52 total possibilities. Which is just a half. The probability of getting a heart, well, there's 13 hearts and there's 52 total.
And then the probability of getting the jack of hearts, well, there's only one jack of hearts, so that's one out of 52. Now we take a look at uh, dice, the probability of getting uh, less than or equal to two, well, that's a two or a one. There's two outcomes in the event and uh, six outcomes in the sample space, which is two out of six or one third. And then greater than or equal to two, well, that's anything but one, so there's five uh, outcomes where this is satisfied, so that's five out of six. Now, the most important thing to remember about this number of outcomes in event and number of outcomes in sample space is that this probability is always gonna be between zero and one inclusive. So if your event covers the entirety of the sample space, there's uh, no other possibilities. So um, we could say that uh, the event is we get uh, one through six on a dice roll. Well, there's no other pro uh, possibilities, so the probability of getting a one through six is a one. Um, or we could say, say um, zero probability is when there's no outcomes in the event that satisfy uh, what the number of outcomes are in the sample space. So we could say the probability of getting a seven on a dice roll, well, there's only one through six, so there's no outcomes that satisfy that, so it's zero out of six possibilities or just zero. Um, so always remember that probability will be between zero and one. Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.